So my name is Michelle Perry. I am the current Sunnyside School Board President and I am the current WASDA Vice President. I have been on my board for 12 years. I'm 48 years old and I have six children ages 30 through 18. I was born and raised in Sunnyside. Um, I've been involved in public education for over 25 years. I'm what, when I first got on the school board, I was the youngest, only female and the only parent. I've been in, involved as a legislative rep, the voting delegate. Um, I volunteered on many committees. I'm a leadership WASDA 2013 graduate, but active member of the Federal Relations Network where I've traveled to Washington DC several times to advocate for Washington State students. I've been very involved in equity conferences, CUBE conferences, national conferences, annual conferences, Down the Hill, um, Ledge Conference. I'm part of the Hispanic Caucus. I've um, attended equity symposiums and several trainings at Harvard on parent engagement and through the Department of Ed at Harvard. I currently work at um, Yakima Valley College in the tutoring center. And I am also an emergency substitute teacher. Over the past 12 years, I've seen WASDA become an advocate for public education in Washington State. I've seen WASDA grow as an association, and I believe it is WASDA's role to advocate for the 1.2 million students in Washington on behalf of our 295 school districts and the 1,477 members it represents. It is our role to empower our members with the skills they need to advocate for our 1.2 million students and public education. So as we've as we seen across our state and across the nation right now, equity is a really big issue in our state and across the nation. We've adopted, WASDA adopted an equity statement two years ago which was a great start, but we need to still acknowledge the inequities within our public education system and be willing to challenge them and find solutions so that every student can be successful. We also have to remember that equity isn't just about race. It encompasses so much more than race. It can be social, social, social economic status, access to internet, homelessness, capabilities, disabilities, and the list goes on. We have to remain focused on all inequities, not just race. We need to broaden our focus on equity. 